Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with the lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Raka Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the elect out there spreading this word as a in and truth all over the four corners of the earth. God, this lesson is going to be named A Tree Closed by the Waters. When you're in this truth, you constantly have to meditate upon the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, day in, day out, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, your mind is supposed to be in tune with this truth. Then you might think like, well, why is that? Why is that? Um, you, you're not always busy with the truth. You're not always reading. How can you always be reading? But it's not only about that. It's about meditating upon this truth. Thinking about your Hashem, your Shai, in your day-to-day -day life. With all the things that you do. You know, I always give this example. When you go to the supermarket, you can, can't just go around and buy stuff without looking, man. While you're buying stuff, you're looking for the ingredients. You're checking the ingredients, whether it's unclean or whether it's clean food. You know, whether it uh, it's uh, according to the dietary law of your hour or uh, of the things that are clean or whether it's um, according to the unclean things. So while you're doing groceries, you're meditating up, upon your hour, Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and and this should be 24-7, man. We ain't no weekend Israelites. You ain't supposed to be a weekend Israelite, you know. Throughout your whole life, you have to have Yahweh Bashem Shai in your mind, you know. Praying that he might direct your steps and keep you from stumbling and falling. Because that's not something to, to, to desire, you know. So, to be a, a, a tree planted close by the waters is to be um, strong in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, rooted in prudent you know, you don't have to fear nothing, nobody you know when you have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with you, and you that tree planted close by the river so this is the book of um, Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So, refraining from dwelling with these with these um, scornful people, which a, a, a scornful man is one who mocks. So, if you hang around with cats that mock Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. You going off, man. It's blessed. Blessed is the man that doesn't do that. Blessed is the man that doesn't sit and uh, uh, walk and not among the counsel of the ungodly. You know, not going to them for advice, not listening to their advice, nor even mingling with their nonsense. It's nonsense. It's unprofitable. You know, and being among sinners, you know, you might you you might be caught. Within their sins, man. You know, you might be, you might get mingled up into their sins. If a dude is um, is slanging coke, and then you 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 hanging around with him, you know, he might he, he might get shot for it, and you in the car. You know, he might have ripped somebody off, and you in the car. You might catch a bullet through your neck, also. You know. So that's not a good position to be in. So blessed is the man that has the ability and, 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 and the faith that he refrains from those things. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And in his law that he meditate day and night. That's what I was speaking about, man. In his law that he meditate day and night. Then you might think like, how, how can he meditate in the night? On the law Well I had it I had it myself man You know um, 
you know, even on the Shabbat, you know, uh, when is the Shabbat, and I'm dreaming, I'm having a dream, and a woman, uh, a, a woman pulls up in my dream, in my dream, <laughs> I know it's the Shabbat, and that's crazy, man, that's, 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 that's beautiful to see how your spirit is in tune with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and that's something to rejoice over, man, you know, woman, woman finna touch me in my dream, straight up tell her, don't touch me, it's the Sabbath, you know, then I had a, a, a thing that happened, I was sleeping, it was the Shabbat, my woman was next to me, and then she, um, um, she put her arm around me, and I was, and I, and while I was sleeping, I I, I I took away her arm, and I turned around. You know, that's that's being in tune with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, um, meditating upon it day and night. You know that even your spirit knows what's going on, and that's beautiful to see, man. You know, and I have this often. You know, in my in, in my sleep, knowing it's the Shabbat, or knowing that. Uh, 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 you know certain things is going on But then you also got these demons messing around you Letting you do some Some foul nasty shit Some 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 wicked shit In your dreams man You know but you ain't supposed to take heed To those demons Just for, uh, uh, You know Stop mad don't meditating uh, don't, don't meditate upon that at all Meditate upon the good and righteous things You know Plus it doesn't matter, basically, if it's night or day. Meditate upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh 24-7, like I said. You know, because then, verse 3, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So, we got to be like those trees planted close by the waters, man. We, we should refrain from worldly, ungodly things and ungodly people, you know, and meditate upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai constantly. While we're walking in our day to day lives, you know, while we're doing our things, uh, 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 being in balance, and, and uh, while we're doing our, our, our uh, while we live in our day to day lives, you know, uh, giving uh, uh, sacrifices unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And I'm talking about spiritual sacrifices. You know, I'm talking about uh, uh, giving the Lord His offerings, making videos, reading the scriptures, you know, being in balance. While we're doing that, constantly meditating upon Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to make you a, a, to be a, riv a, a tree close by a river, man. Now, at this moment, I'm standing close to a river with trees among them. I can actually show you. Um, let me see. See? All these trees be, be growing. You know, but then the rest it's like just a plain field. But then close to the close to the river you got big ass trees growing, you see? got trees grown and this is an in, uh, uh, industrial area you see so you want to be that tree man you want to be that tree that the most high um, doesn't doesn't stop with um, nurturing because that tree gets infinite uh, uh, nurturing man the main the main um, source of life for a tree is water so unless that water um, dries up unless that creek dries up that tree will have will have um, uh, uh, life man that tree will have life that tree will have fruit that tree will have leaves Unless the water dries up. Now, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding is that water, which it will never dry up, man. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will never fade away. So you will get infinite life. So the what is the main resource? 
what is the main resource of 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 a man in the Lord, uh, 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 a man of the Lord? What's supposed to be the main resource of the man of the Lord is this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, like it says in the book of Proverbs. Is it like this? <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding. If we look up the word principle. <laughs> principle. The Hebrew word there is ra Ra'ashayat, Ra'ashayat, first, beginning, best, chief, beginning, chief, first, choice, part, so the most important thing, that's why during your day-to-day -day life, you gotta walk with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you, you can never cast it off of you, and all your ways, and all your doings, you know, know, have the scriptures grafted in your mind, we're still dealing with the stony heart, which is which which is um, you know flesh that goes off. We need to read the scriptures. It's not it's not um, uh, you know um, automatically in our day to day lives. But you gotta you gotta keep keep, keep you gotta um, hold fast to that stony heart for now, man. Until it turns into a fleshly heart, you know. Hold fast to it, man. Because you want to be that tree. Like I said, you want to be the tree close, planted close by the water. Because that tree will never have to worry about nothing. You know, that tree will never have to worry about nothing. Because that tree knows that the water is close to him, man. Even though it gets, it, it gets like 40 degrees Celsius, that tree ain't tripping. Because he has enough water, man. That tree will not be able to, 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 to finish uh, all the water in the river, man. So he, 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 he won't stress, man. You know? Just like a man that walks in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai in the times of Jacob's trouble, in the time of affliction, in the time of, of, of catching hell, while you're catching hell, while you while you basically getting broke, and, and you know it's, it's going to take a long time before you get your paycheck again, you know, when you walk in, Yahweh, in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you should never stress, man. I remember my ex demon. You know, we was together and uh, and uh, uh, we ain't have no money. We didn't have no money to eat at that time. You know, because some uh, some some shit some shit happened. Some things had to be paid. Some some things broke down. And then she was stressing. And then um, she she went to walk outside with my dog. And then she found money right in front of the door, man. She picked it up. And then she contacted me. And I, I, and basically, before before that happened, I was like, man, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is going to hold our heads above the water, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai ain't going to forsake the people that trust in him, man. Like like the book of uh, Sirach says, when did the Most High forsake the people that, that put, his, uh, put their trust in him? The most I doesn't do that, man. The most I doesn't do that. So you should never worry about that. The most I feeds all the birds. Why would you worry about you know, you know yourself yourself? But you gotta uphold yourself and sustain yourself, you know, and work on yourself also, man. You know? Um so this is Jeremiah. Chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh. <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> so it says, Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh. And whose hope is in Yahweh. Salakia. And whose hope Yahweh is. So in all, in all your ways. <coughs> Salakia, man. In all your ways, you put your trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in your day-to-day -day life, 24/7. Like I said, meditating upon upon the laws, statutes, and commandments, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, 
24-7, man. Blessed is that man. Why is that man blessed? Verse 8. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out the, her roots by the river. Like I just showed you, man. They are spreading out their roots by the river. They are gaining fruit, which that fruit is, is the wisdom, knowledge, understanding that they are able to pass on to other people, man. You know, because when that fruit falls and the seed comes into the ground, that that fruit itself becomes a tree also. And that tree is going to be able to bear forth fruit also. In the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, because Yahweh Shai is divine. You know, and we are the branches. So we have to stay in Yahweh Hashem Shai, like the book of uh, uh, St. John, chapter 15 says. So that fruit is people that learn through your teachings, that learn through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai that's being placed upon you. Verse 8. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Exactly, so this tree ain't never gonna be worried, man. This tree ain't never gonna be worried. That's how you gotta be in this truth, man. You should never be worried, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai got his man. Yahweh Bashim Shai got that which which uh, uh, belongs unto you, man. Speaking about children, your wife, your children, your family, man. Yahweh Hashem Shai will take care of them, defend them, you know, and 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 and, and protect them, man. You know, as long as you put your faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai, you're gonna be like that tree that does not have to worry, not in the time of drought, you know, which, uh, uh, um, like I said, for for a tree, water is its main resource. For us. Uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is our main resource. Food can come later, but then on the other hand, you can look at it as food also, which this truth is spiritual food, but on a carnal level, when you ain't got no food, when you ain't got no 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 money, still trusting your Abba Shemiah Shai, man, the most I will take care of you, man, regardless. You know, be, before you got uh, you got your things, uh, be, before you got your um, payments that you had to make, Yahweh Shemiel Shah already knew it, man. He already knew that it, it was probably going to be a, a rough month for you. You know what I often have, man? You know, when, I, when my money is getting low, all of a sudden I got my guard duty, which at my, at my job we have guard duty. And in that guard duty, it takes one. It lasts one week, from Friday to Friday. And um, you know, then then maybe I'm meditating upon uh, 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 upon uh, how I'm gonna manage to put gas in my car. And then I'll be like, oh shit, man! Hey, I have guard duty this weekend, so I can take my job van to the camp or wherever I want to go, wherever I need to go. I can just take it there. And it's always exactly in the week that I really need it. Again, this weekend also, man. This week is uh, uh, is again, man, when I really need it, man. The most I already set it up. The most I set it up when exactly in the time when I need it, man. You know, so don't stress, don't worry, man. As long as you meditate upon your Abba Shem Shai, as long as you, you know, walk in your day-to-day -day lives through the spirit of power of your Abba Shem Shai, the most I will keep your head above the waters, man. You know? And keep feeding you with with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He will make you prudent. Which, if you look up the word prudent, If you look up the word prudent, it says careful or wise in handling pra uh, practical matters, exercising good judgment, common sense, characterized by 
by or resulting from care or wisdom in practical matters or planning for the future discreet and cautious in managing one's activities circumspect so the most that will make you to grow in the spirit man you will become more wise you will become more judgmental you know you will become a better judge you will better uh, you, like it says ex exercising good judgment common sense common sense is not the common sense of the world it's common sense of the truth you know you will be able to do that discern good and evil like the elders man they have the senses exercised to discern both good and evil you know which we have to be able to do that too but in due time as long as you put your trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and constantly meditate upon this truth the most I will fix you up with that man you you won't have to worry about it trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh be be uh, be uh, don't be stressful about the situation that you be put in just like that tree man extreme heat is just pulled up that tree ain't worried man he got the waters in the same manner we we ain't supposed to be worried because we got shy. we got the wisdom knowledge and understanding that's why we got to be patient man <coughs> and don't be occupied in carnal matters this is Sirach chapter 2 verse 4 whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower stage, you got to stay patient, man. Be patient and let, let Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai do his thing. You know? That water will come in regardless, man. That water will come in regardless. So with that, I'm going to say, Call a lawyer, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the elect.